Okay, magandang araw, uh, Director Vincent uh, Tanyada, also Attorney Vincent Tanyada. Thank you very much again, Director, for joining us. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Uh, congratulations again to some awards new, which I can clearly see behind you right now. So thank you also uh, for reminding us, no? Of yeah, your, uh, Andre, yes. <laughs> achievements. So congratulations again, uh, Director. So now we're entering the second week, no? Nang showing ng katips. Ito po yung inyong pelikula, which has been quite a big hit. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll discuss also the other side of the coin. There's the two sides of the coin. Yan. So of course, the Maiden Malacanang also will ask your opinion on that. Uh, now, of course, uh, uh, may I just call you Vincent. Vincent, uh, of course, you're now a lot in the headlines and all. I think biglang out of nowhere in the past three weeks. Very dominant kayo na sa headlines. Many people are looking for you. So thank you very much for making this time for us direct. No, I really appreciate it. Um, uh, gusto ko lang, uh, for the purpose of our audience, Na siguro para sa kanila, I mean, your name is uh, practically a household name. They know about your awards. Many of them watch your movie. But I think many are also curious, like, about your background, no? Yung how did you get into theater? And how are you, and at the same time, you're a lawyer. How did you balance them? And of course, your family name. You're a Tanyada after all. Can you tell us a little bit about your origin stories, right? Ano po yung origin right. stories ng director Vincent Tanyada? Yeah, well, I started in theater when I was very young, I started right. uh, when I was six years old. I, I joined Bulwagan Ganting Pala. I was the um, basilio in their Noli uh way back in the late 80s. Right. Then I joined this uh, theater group, um, singing group in, in La Salle, Kundirana. Uh, it's, a, it's a singing group composed of um, uh, young high school students from La Salle. And uh, we were being trained by... Uh, alumni of Kondirana such as Gary Valenciano or the Alcacid. Oh, and then we went to the States and I I actually, it was a series of shows for Kondirana. And there was this um, advertisement about um, about a scholarship in, in St. Mary's College and they are offering scholarship for Asian students uh, oh, in theater. Wow. So yeah, I, I joined that, that uh, program, mm -hmm. but uh, a couple of months later, my, my mom said that I really need to come back here because I need to finish my legal education. And as an obedient son, I, I went back. I finished mm -hmm. law school in time. I passed the bar exams at first take. But uh, after I passed the bar exams, the day after, in fact, I, I talked to my parents and I said that I really need to follow my passion and that is my passion for theater arts. Right, right. And uh, I established a theater company. It's uh, called Philippine Stagers. And uh, my mom was really angry. Uh, yung dad ko kasi easy, easy lang yun. Eh. Pero yung mom ko talagang, ah, ganun, ganun. we come from a family of lawyers, ganyan, ganyan. Right, right. You, you tend to be the... Oh, you tend to be the, the, the next mayor in our town, ganyan, ganyan. Ah, right. So, and, 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 and that career in theater is not financially rewarding. You're so malande, you already have a kid at a very young age. And, yeah. and that, that is not a good means for livelihood, ganyan, ganyan. So, well, so I, I, I said something which really struck them. I said that it's okay for me to be poor in material wealth, but I don't want to be poor in spirit. Right. This is something that makes me happy. So I said, I really need to follow my passion. But at the same time, when, when I was uh, very busy with theater, mm -hmm. uh, theater was like a weekend thing for me. It's, it's like a break to the monotony of my legal profession. So right. I, I, had to, I had to go on with my legal profession. But at the same time, every weekend, I do theater. And I, 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 I stage shows for high school students, for young people. And I, I don't think that I need to, to adopt or to to import anything from Broadway or from Western London. That's what uh, usually right. our theater peeps uh, do here in the Philippines. They, they actually import or they adopt uh, like yeah. repertory Philippines. But I don't. I, I actually utilize our own history, mm -hmm. uh, our own culture, and our national identity. I guess uh, since 2001, I've been correcting fake news about Bonifacio, about, right. about Aguinaldo, about Jose Rizal, about Juan Luna, Antonio Luna. So nauna ako sa mga ganun, yung mga talagang, ano, talagang uh, um, historical works. No? Parang kinokorek ko na na talagang, ah, hindi, si Aguinaldo talaga nagpapatay yeah. kay Bonifacio, ganyan-ganyan. When, when everybody thinks sa talagang si Bonifacio na matay sa pakikipaglaban. <laughs> Alam mo yun, hindi, hindi siya pinatay ng kapwa natin Pilipino. So you felt so, invested no, in these historical narratives and debates. Th that, was, that was my advocacy. Because when I was in the States, talagang yung yung ano yung um, Asian theater parang baliwala 
parang bali wala. So so the, the purpose for me is really to 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 be known internationally, not me per se, but my my, my work. Yes, yeah, ang ating bandera ng Pilipinas exactly. yeah, kasi yeah. Uh, so, our culture and our our tradition, our our national identity very rich eh. Yung yung yes, history natin very rich. Kaya kailangan na and there are a lot of uh, fake news about it. Uh, right. even yung mga makaaginaldo sinasabi nila ano ay ah, hindi ganyan ganyan so I, i really need to do that no and i, I stage a lot of historical works martial law is just one you know i i, I stage like around four yeah, exactly uh, exactly yeah, yeah. yeah so this oh. is an extension of a uh, ingrained uh, sense of historical consciousness and your sense of investment in the philippine history and culture indigenizing mm. our theater itaas yung bandera But before going back, can we rewind a little bit? Uh, of course, you come from the Tanyada family, very prominent family, big hmm. figures during the time of resistance to the martial law, etc. How did that define your art, your sense of historical consciousness, right? To tell you honestly, all of them are, all of them, as in the entire family, uh, hmm. the right side of the brain is working but the left side it yeah, isn't working creative. for them so yeah. they are not creatives you know they 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 don't actually involve themselves with art and it it's quite revolutionary that i am investing so much with uh, with art because uh, yun na nga tanya ako pagkatapos eh, sila naman walang artist talaga doon kahit isa <laughs> kahit sakalin mo sila walang yeah. walang lalabas na. even a poet wala talaga so Um, but the thing is, maybe I was created this way in order for 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 only not myself but the family as well to right. utilize the arts as a medium for education or possibly to inspire people to touch their hearts and possibly to to transform society. So I don't need to be in politics. I don't need to practice law right. to do that. Uh, in fact, uh, ang ang powerful nung ano eh nung uh, teatro eh, at ng sining eh, at ng pelikula. It's a very powerful instrument for yeah. for social change. Lalo, And I'm lalo, enjoying it. I'm enjoying lalo, lalo, it. Lalo, uh, there, uh, Vincent, no, dito sa ating kultura, no, yung life world of the Filipino people. I think entertainment, passion, uh, creative, uh, undiverse, they're very, very important in getting people... Precisely. Into- yeah. Precisely. I mean, as an educator, um, napansin ko yan, kung abstract ka lang mag- magsabi, medyo makawalan after five wala. minutes. Uh-oh. But if you put yeah. some art to it, even humor, comedy, ganon, You can Most, retain yeah, attention yeah. and love. Most people. especially the past 10 years or so, um, right. uh, the attention span of the youth, it's very limited. You know, it, it's quite important for you to capture their attention yeah, before you teach. Nice. So, okay. so, so, ang, ang ginagawa ko, I, I am utilizing the art to maybe to capture the attention and then eventually, uh, do natin ipipresent yung mga value-laden, ano natin. Yes. <laughs> yung mga, oo. Oh, oh. uh, so, yun. Uh, I, I truly believe that um, Theater and the art is not actually revolutionary. It's not revolution. It's a rehearsal. It's a practice or rehearsal for revolution. So yeah. we we need to we need to utilize this in order for us to affect the youth and right. possibly to to change lives. Well, I mean, of course, by revolution it can also mean revolution in consciousness and our appreciation of things. But we also know historically, I think, in places like. Uh, Sila Vaklak Havel, for instance, in, in Czechoslovakia, right? You had the theatrical yeah. people who were behind the uh, the movement against the Soviet oppression. No? So we have historical cases throughout history. People, very strong theatrical background, who were able to bring down empires, including the Soviet-Russian empire. So, so I completely see where... Andres Munipasha right? included, because he, he has yeah. this Teatro Porvenir. Uh, well, he started with theater and uh, eventually... Naging supremo ng Katipunan. <laughs> At syempre, ang ating uh, superhero, si Rizal, di ba? Isa po, yes. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I saw some of his biographies. He was very much into uh, teatro na nasa Atene yata siya. Yung uh, about yung mga, of course, mga Virgil, mga ano yan eh, mga uh, Roman, uh, Latin, mga classics yan. So, our very national heroes, no? Our very heroes. Yeah, of course, our bashers will tell me, yeah. hindi ka naman national hero, kapal na mukha mo. So, they... Well, I was just standing in front of uh, the monument and there were right. a lot of bashers. Don't compare yourself with Rizal. I'm not comparing myself with Rizal. I am like Inspired. I I am too small to to affect change in in the country. I guess uh it should be a consolidated effort, right. not only me but the viewers as well. It's 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 actually tantamount to a, a, an invisible relationship between me as an artist and my audience. Right. And, and I mean there's a lot I want to ask but 
I'm just trying to get kasi ano ko may excited tayong pareho eh. Like there, there's just so much interesting stuff to discuss. Now, a little bit fast forward but we'll, we'll try to ground things again. How did you conceptualize etong katips? Like why is it called katips? I mean, uh, is it the Katipunero? Is it Katipunan UP because UP Katipunan? Uh, and then it it is very theatrical. Your actors seem to be very solid, especially your lead actors. Like I could imagine them in a theatrical stage like my wow factor. But to take it to transpose it into a cinematic medium, right? Uh, it's a different ball game, right? In many ways, right? Uh, so, so how did you conceptualize the movie, and how did the decision came about? Na kailangan natin ilagay yan sa cinema para more mainstream ang itarget natin. Can you give us a little bit more information on that uh, without maybe yeah. spoiling the? <laughs> yeah, spoiler I'd like alert. to tell you that 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 Katipsi started as a musical play. It exactly. started as a stage play in 2016. It won a lot of awards. Uh, it, it, it won in the Leo Awards for Best Play and um, other awards. I, I forgot already. Broadway World Awards in New York. Damn awards also. na kalimutan nyo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so parang, when, when my dad died because of COVID in 2020, I was like thinking that life is indeed short and I really need to, mm. I really need to do something. Um, well, theater is fleeting. But um, um, film, it's, it, it will actually immortalize me as an artist because uh, wala na ako, patay na ako, pero mapapanood pa rin yung pelikula and eventually even my son uh, who adores me will can still watch it but not now because uh, he's too young. Mm. So ang, ang, yun lang yung iniisip ko no, when my dad died. So I have to choose my best play. Okay? Uh, yun ang una kong iniisip kasi way back in 2021 when, when we were conceptualizing And when we were doing the pre-prod, I was like thinking, oh, sige, Bonifacio, pero kulang tayo ng budget, kailangan natin ng costume, right. ganyan, ganyan. Uh, ano pa ba yung mga iba natin na play na pwedeng gawin? Eh, ito yung pinaka-modern na feeling ko, talagang hindi ako gagasa sa production design, sa, sa, right. sa uh, I don't need to look for a location, kasi any, anywhere, pwede naman. Ang dami pa mga lumang bahay ngayon. Tapos hmm. yung mga costume sa, syempre, na, bumabalik na naman yung 70s look so it's quite easy for me no so sabi ko oh yan na lang tapos yan, yan pa yung price play ko so during that time ni wala pa nga sa inagap natin that BBM will run for president that was March 2021 mm. so we started shooting it uh, June 2021 we finished it around July and then in November there were like um haka haka that BBM is running pero wala pang hindi pa siya nagpa-file ng uh, candidacy noon and, and there were actually talks na oh ngayon ano that uh, well you're doing this to topple the the administration come on wala pa nga if, if that is the intention di sana pinalabas ko to nung before the elections correct uh, yeah, yeah. i am showing this now yeah. yeah i am showing this now well the timing is impeccable because as you said i am riding on the popularity not the popularity but the good machinery of Miri Malacanang, which I do not have. I do not have yeah. money to to spare for the promotion. And in a uh-huh. way, Miri Malacanang helped me. And um, well... It was um, a strategic I, decision. It was a strategic it was, decision. Yes, yes. It was a strategic decision. Right. That, uh, well, we don't have monopoly yet. Uh, we are still in democracy. Yeah. So why is Daryl Yap mad at me that I am actually having the August 3 play date? When in fact, uh, even pre-pandemic, If there's a Viva film, there right. should also be a Regal film uh, in, in one play uh, date. If there's a Star Cinema, there will be a GMA film. So it's it's, it's quite usual for us to have an option. I'm just giving equilibrium. people an option. Yeah. Oh, oh, so ganun lang yun. But but yung magagalit, eh, sabi nga nila mas matagumpay sila, mas marami silang ano. So be it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not after the the monetary profit even. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy na buma, bumalik yung puhunan naming napakaliit. Yeah. Yung puhunan nilang napakalaki, I don't know kung bumalik sa kanila. Yeah, so yeah, at, the yeah, end, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, who's the victor here? Me, because, because I don't have anything. Yeah. Right? I don't even have money for, for, for press con. I don't yeah. have money. The, the press are going to me. They're, they're yeah. coming and, and interviewing me without me calling them, without me giving envelopes to them. And that is quite revolutionary, right? Because crazy, we're used no? to I mean, uh, direct, you, like, like you. you, you yeah. Well, you, you just... I didn't ask for your... Uh, well, you called me and you said that you're interested to know about my story. 
Pero sila, they're paying press people for the interview. So I don't have any puhunan here in, in, in the marketing. So, except, your kapag- talent. Na- except your talent and dedication. Except your talent and dedication, yeah. Yan well, that is priceless. That is priceless. Exactly. So, right. Mm. Yeah. So and 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 of course, my 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 marketing strategy. Mm-hmm. Um, people actually are calling me marketing guru, <laughs> even when I when I was when I was right. marketing yeah. when I was marketing my place in a um, uh, pre-pandemic. Because I don't actually, unlike Peta, Rock of Ages, they're all over the news. Well, you know that they're the most successful. But in fact, in, in 10 months, I have like 800 shows. And who can beat that? I don't actually indulge into promotion. Yeah. To me, yung, mas maganda kasi yung ano eh. Yung, you, just, uh, you just have to market from, yung, yung, from the grassroots talaga. Mm. Uh, going back a little bit on this, and I'll ask you more also about how you're absorbing this sudden uh, upsurge <laughs> of interest. It's an out of nowhere. Actually, natuwa ako. Nag, nag, nag-reply kayo. Sabi ko, for sure, baka... Sobrang overwhelmed siya. I mean, I can understand also because in our field too, when there's big news, like suddenly everyone wants to talk to you. So I appreciate the fact that uh, you made time, director. I appreciate that. Now, going back to this, um, what is this Katips all about? I mean, how did you... Now, let's talk about your work. Um, paano mo siya na-conceptualize? Bakit mo pinili yung ganitong konteksto? Bakit ganitong mga characters? No? Um, and, and is this one of your favorite works na nakataon lang na naging medyo mainstream ngayon? Or, or you have, it's just one of many great works you have and nakataon lang ganyan. Or is this really special? Yeah. Is this really special? Yeah. Is this, this, is, special this is really... Masterpiece, yeah. Yeah, this is really a special project for me because way back in 2016, uh, Eta Rosales is a good friend of mine, you know? Of course, and uh, yeah, yeah we, had, we had like, um, well, we always have had up to now coffee every now and then and we, we talk about, wala, social issues. Ano kasi siya eh, uh, walking... Walking newscaster siya. But basta lahat. And, and I don't read ano na. Basta siya sa kanya nang gagaling lahat. Tapos we were actually thinking of, let's, sige, let's produce a martial law film for, ano, for September 21, 2016. Kasi kakapanalo lang ni Duterte noon. Tapos yeah, sabi ko, sige, sige. Then uh, we gathered all uh, martial law victims. Tapos we had, the, we had the parang series of conference. Tapos, you know, I was really touched by the stories. So sabi ko parang ano eh parang masyadong 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 malaki yung istorya nila yeah, para... uh, for for me to to absorb yeah. and uh, during that time I, I finished writing the play like for three hours after three hours the music included so really? talagang ganun ako tayo ex- back then yeah, parang at a torrent of creative moment parang ganun parang bigla oo oh, oh, na may kasama na may kasama ng Henny si Pare oo oh, oh, na With brandy and all talagang pare, talagang <laughs> yeah, all tuloy-tuloy. The way, tuloy. Yeah, all the way. Oo, yeah. kaya sabi ko, sige, uh, Pita, sabi ko, sige, ano, kala namin for September 21 lang. Tapos, yeah. I was able to talk to Secretary Liling Briones of DepEd, yeah. who happens to be a martial law uh, survivor as well. Yeah, just to be clear, so, so, so Mom she utilized the play for, for to educate our... Martial law. Yeah, sorry, Vince, yeah. I'm putting you, or doon sa mga audience natin na probably not as familiar unfortunately like uh, mom eta rosales of course was uh, an activist she was tortured during the martial law period she served as a representative of akbayan for a while in the congress and then she became the head of the commission on human rights so just a background lang kasi uh, syempre within our world known siya but i just want to make sure yung mga more uh, mga bago bago mga audience natin alam nila yung background and of course si mom secretary brion is also another uh, activist and and victim yes yes going back again yes director yeah yeah And uh, did you did you say about Secretary Leling Briones? Yes, she's the about deputy Secretary. Secretary. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Ed, yeah. Yeah, and um, yun parang alam mo yun talo sabi niya. Sige, let's try to utilize the play to educate more people. So we were able to stage the play even in Mindanao, etc. So we had like around 800 shows, and uh, we were well, we were quite fortunate because we changed a lot of lives and they, they have, you know, um, they were educated about martial law. So, mm. sabi ko, tapos nanalo pa ng mga awards. So, sabi ko, sige, nung, nung klinosa namin yun, nakala ko that was it. Eh, yun na nga. Tapos parang namatay yung tatay ko. Sabi ko, sige, let's do this, uh, yung film. Pero kasi, it was all based on the stories which I gathered from the victims. So, I, I, I just tried to, I just tried to make it a multi-plot, multi-character story 
But yeah. all the stories that, that um, you saw in the film are inspired, are by, inspired by the true yeah. stories of the victims. Ang dami kasi nila. So, may, may mga may mga memes na ginamit ko din at na mga victims talaga. So, alam mo yun, hindi ko lang sila, hindi ko lang ginamit yung real name nila. And even the, the, the timeline, I didn't use, it was a lit literature it is a literary form of art it yeah. was there there are a lot of literary devices and i it's it's not a historical film but as historical fiction even some of the some of the names of ano i change kasi nga ayoko ayoko masabi this is quite different from a documentary this is a form of art with artistic license and poetic justice and a lot of people were were inspired not by the timeline not by the the, the historical yeah. events Um, in the film, but by the heart of the film, um, it's 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 quite obvious that we are now entering a new era, uh, and that uh, we we really need to battle um, fake news and uh, history distortion, and uh, you know we need to we need the people to feel that in the film. Because if you're just a uh, if you're just presenting a liter literature or a written written article, hindi mo mararamdaman eh, patalagay ng pelikula. Yeah, so Iba talaga yung visual, lalong-lalo na sa atin. Kaya kami nga, bati kami mga you know, nasa academe and all, nag-vlog na rin kami, di ba? Because we yeah. understand, iba pa rin yung pag yun nga. People can see it and more instantaneous. And especially doon sa Gen Z, no? yung bagong henerasyon. I mean, this is the TikTok generation. So we have to adjust uh, siguro our approach to make sure that they get also the proper understanding and contextualism. Now, going back to this again, um, So that, it was really the existential moment you had no after the passing of your father na parang okay anong legacy ang gusto kay Iwan? I mean it's one thing for me to enjoy the instantaneous appreciation I get from each theater it's another thing na talaga mag-iwan ako ng something to leave a mark no on the fabric of public consciousness no? so I, I that's interesting so this was part of your pandemic um, existential uh, moment of truth or mga reflection So that made you more brave. And 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 do you think this is what many people in the theater should do? That they should not fear going from theater or seamlessly transitioning between theater and more mainstream cinema? Even if, of course, there's logistical, financial, and other kinds of constraints? Why are you talking about it? Yeah. Did you hear me, Derek? But actually, I hear you very well, director. Pero ikaw na puputol ka. Yeah, 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 narinig yung Yeah, 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 narinig kita. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But ikaw you're you're very clear. Mas mahalaga ka kaysa sa akin ngayon at least. Okay. Yeah, but balik uh, na lang. Ko narinig yung questions mo. Yeah, yeah. Ulitin ko na lang uh, uh, director. No, what I was okay. saying is that yes, nakita ko na parang syempre nagkaroon kayo ng existential moment talaga din, mm-hmm. no? Um and, and reflection. Sa so, tingin niyo ba, I mean again, of course you're speaking for yourself, but Do you feel that other theater people should also try what you've been doing, which is try to transpose theatrical, musical also into mainstream? Because para may pagkale miserable ang ang approach nito, de ba? Do you think this yes. is one way forward for theatrical works of this nature? Yeah. Uh, by the way, Richard, there's nothing wrong with stagey. Uh, now we can see in Oscars they are really appreciating stagey films, no? Because if I'm saying that, I stagey, larger than life. Mga, mga yeah. la la There's nothing wrong with that. That's another yeah. genre, okay? But of course, you don't you don't actually you don't compare stagey films to more realistic films, no? Yeah. Mga mga ganyan. So walang maliton. It's it's it's, it's another genre. Because yeah. um, there, I, I can read a lot of reviews, no? In even in ano in uh, in uh, social media. Na yun na nga masyadong stagey, dapat hindi to film, dapat theater ito. Ganyan yeah. ganyan tapos biglang biglang may ano may may rating na one star. Ganun. Parang ano ba kayo? Kasi hindi nila hindi alam na talaga may ganun talagang tradisyon. Yeah, it's, oh, it's hindi just na, hindi uso 'yan. You, you just have to you just have to think like world cinema. Kasi even ito nung nung pin, pinalabas sa Geneva, talagang nagulat sila. This is something new and we should really uh, try to Uh, be forward with our ano ang ganda ng ano ang ganda ng mga reviews doon kaya sabi ko um, masyadong ano a backward pa din yung pagtingin natin sa cinema dito sa Pilipinas right. kaya alam mo yung uh, during the pandemic remember there was this staging of Huling El Bimbo uh, right 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 yeah, which was also supported by, by a lot of people even it had like millions of views in YouTube 
Tapos ang, ang ganda ng mga reviews. Kasi nga, we are ready for that kind of ano of cinema. Mugsit. Kasi even even when we're doing film um a couple of years back, mas mas nag mas ano tinatao kami kesa sa cinema. Ang dami naming audience, even mga walk-in audience, talaga. Right. Even Rock of Ages, right? Even yung mga peta, huling El Bimbo, mas tinatao na. Kasi nga, uh, maganda rin yung ganitong klase. And now, putting it into film, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Okay lang yan. Easy-easy lang tayo. Masyado naman kayong ano, there's no such thing as a, um, ano yun, yung formulaic, yeah, uh, yung yeah. formula ng, ng, ng cinema. Template. Maganda yan. We just have to be o oh, template ng, ng magandang pelikula. Maganda naman na, that we present other kinds of... In that way, dito. pioneering yun, di ba? I mean, it's not pioneering internationally, but in the Philippines, this is quite pioneering, right? Yes, this is, this is the first, ano, Richard, this is the it first is. film na some of the lines are being sung. So some some of the dialogues are, were sung because yeah. so we have like two musicals already. Um, well, yung alam ko na musical na talagang in recent years, yung sa Apo at saka yung Amir directed by uh, by uh, Chito Ronyo and right. that the songs included in the film were um standalone music what i mean is if it, even if you remove the songs uh, you you can still understand the story but with the tips kasi you need to listen to the lyrics of the song because some of the dialogues were sung right and right. The, the the songs are, are actually integral part of of uh, the, the 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 story Right. Mm. And, and direct dito sa again as I said nga eh, parang when people said Le Miserable, medyo na appreciate ng guests ng tao no. And yeah. in my case kasi I had to reserve uh assessment or judgment. I said let me watch and let's see if how how we're going to move forward. But I have another question. How did the ensemble come together? How did you put together this group of uh people from different generations? And the fact that of course you're you're also one of the lead actors and uh I think we have very few cases where the best director also wins the best actor, no? Uh, I mean, even not a few. Yeah. That's a first. That's a first. Yeah, that's I mean, like only in the, the Philippines. Philippines. Only yeah. the Philippines. Yeah. So how no, did actually, you manage actually, it? Yeah. actually, in Hollywood, in Hollywood, that's quite usual. Well, that's usual, exactly. Mel yeah. Gibson directing Braveheart and acting yeah. in Braveheart, Clint yeah. Eastwood in Million Dollar Baby, etc. But in the Philippines, Philippines when again, you yeah. act. Yeah, when you act and when you direct, they call you narcissistic. So, <laughs> only in the <laughs> Philippines. But <laughs> ganda it's, kasi nung character mo, director. I mean, your character really had good lines. It was, I think, well-developed character. I mean, from a, I mean, if I were to read it in a book, if I were going to transpose it, it was a really well-developed character. You know? so, in, so, in fairness, like, I was wondering how did you balance that? You know, making I'm sure... Thinking of, I'm yeah. thinking of well-acted, uh, well-acted um, character. Uh, well, to be frank with you, uh, there a lot of other um, uh, characters in Katifs are well written, like the like the the transformation of um, um, uh, Lara. It was a well written right. character, and then I re- I also adore the 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 acting of Nicole. This is her first time to to act in a film or in in theater. She's a, she's a singer. She's a part she's of operatic, a band, right? She's 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 she does opera Broadway style. Yeah. No, she does rock. No, she's she's, oh, wow. she's part of yeah, she's part of General Luna band. But no, uh, you know, she has a she's like she has a good pedigree because wow. she's the granddaughter of Vice yes, President yes. Doy Laurel, uh, the daughter of Iwi Laurel, who is also a singer, right. and uh, the the niece of Coco Laurel, who's a theater sure. luminary, yeah. and. Um, and Iwi is married to an Asensio, the daughter of Fides Cuyugan Asensio, who is a national artist for the, uh, for, yes, for yes. music. Yes. So, for music. So talagang sabi ko, grabe tong babae ito. When, and when I chose her, because uh, Ricky Gallardo, her manager, gave me a list of names. When I chose her, sabi ko, ano ba ito? Ito ba yung Laurel na, ano, na, na from the political family? Sabi yeah. ni Ricky, oo, oh, oh, yan yun. O oh, sige, yan lang yung kukunin ko. Without me seeing her, ha? wala, walang audition, walang ano. Sabi ko siya yung kukunin ko kasi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi, kasi nga sabi ko nga sa'yo, yung, yung marketing, ano ko talaga eh. So, I, I, ko, I, well, I can, yeah, oh, I can I, I use her for marketing. But her character kasi, was, I think, you know, and, and I'll go to this, no? so you may hmm. have checked, I mean, I have some critique of, of your work. I mean, it's, it's very well, it's very courageous, it's very unprecedented. I felt her character had very well, uh, yung, yung origin stories niya and her transformation hmm. was very well done. But, not the man, but but at the same time, a part of me was feeling that 
that stands out in comparison to some of the other lead characters, including your character. Very, mm. very intense character. Very mm. engaging lines. But the origin story was not as clear. Like, bakit siya naging aktivista? Bakit? I mean, alam ko na manunulat siya, nandun siya sa, you know, uh, uh, journalist siya. But hindi ko na hindi na, bakit siya naging ganyan? Why, why did he become a progressive activist? The same also with your other lead actor, no? Very dominant mm. yung roles niya. But unlike the case of Nicole, the transformation arc was not as clear to me. And and again, para hindi nila sabihin na bias ako in your favor. Because I was thinking like, that movie is more than two hours. It's not like mm. it was 45 minutes. So a part of me was feeling, siguro naman pwede may moments of flashback, di ba? Like in the middle of my flashback, isang araw may nakita itong ginawa dun sa kapatid niya, kapitbahay niya, namulatan siya sa buhay, naging aktivista. Yan namin ganun. Like you could have mm. just used five to ten minutes and we already had a hint of origin stories, no? And I'm a little bit surprised wala yung ganun. Again, I'm sorry. I'm mo, fair. I'm yeah, yeah. Fair, yeah. No problem. No problem. Alam mo, Richard, three hours yung, yung, yung movie. Yung original edit, editing. Oh, so oh editing. yung yeah, original yeah, yeah, yeah. edit man. Editing, yeah, exactly. Even, yeah, even when, when, we, when, we, when we streamed that way back in November, it was a three-hour movie. Three hour, yeah. And there were a lot of people talagang natutulog na kasi ang tagal ka ng pelikula. Yeah, one man, hour pa lang. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we had to we had to do some editing, uh, but at the same time, with Nicole, the the transformation was was very clear. But it was so yeah. fleeting. When 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 her father died, diba, she said na okay, I'll join the the movement. Tapos uh, there was this a uh, particular spoiler scene, alert. Maybe, oh, uh, spoiler. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Maybe yeah. I missed yeah. that. And she was like raising her hand like that. And Panyong and Greg was la- were laughing. Parang pinagtatawa na siya. So it, Oh, kasi hindi niya bagay. So it was yeah, it was yeah. like uh, the transition was very uh well there were times like we, we edited yeah. abrupt talaga. Yeah. We edited yung ano kasi parang yung 1980s meron pa doon eh mahaba yung 1980s correct, correct. na. So we edited that part and we jumped to her being interviewed by 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 Bebang. Remember that scene? Right, right, right. Uh right. in the we can see that uh she's already speaking in Tagalog. She's already ano very uh woke na siya and she was yeah. telling that minana niya yung bahay and she's actually uh curing all the sick people being brought down from the mountain etc. That was Tapos a full art of transformation. Yeah, full art. And it was yeah. it was a very fast and very swift uh transformation. Um, well, uh, it's an editing. Said, it's an editing dilemma you had, and so para feeling you imagine a sacrifice some of these parts because of that, no? I I don't want to pinpoint editing, but I'd like to say that that is a, actually a filmic limitation. Yeah, you have uh, to make compromises. Which, yeah, yeah, we we have to make compromises because ah, uh, uh, musical kasi siya Richard. Ang hirap, yeah. mas mahirap tanggalin yung music, yung ikat yung music. Okay. Yung, Kasi talaga, it's, it's yeah. like a continuous song. So it, yeah. all the songs, by the way, are story songs. Meaning, there are instances that, you, that, that we have scenes in the middle of the song. Very difficult. Talagang nahirapan kami with the editing. Kaya sabi ko nga, I'd, I'd like to give it to, to my editor as well. Kasi yeah. na-edit niya yung ganun. Kasi yeah. ang hirap talaga. When we hirap, recorded yeah. and yeah. when we shot all the, all the ano, um, yung mga songs, wala yung mga ganun flashback. We had to. Yeah, yung flash, to, I was thinking kaya sana yun. Just to give a little bit of a background story, origin stories, yeah. Hindi, di ba yung mga songs, may mga flashback na rin kami doon? Na in, yes, in, yes. In pero, yeah, in pero yun na nga, very, very ano lang, kasi nga, ang hirap, kasi talagang, we, I see. we need to, there, there's a timing to the song eh, kasi yung song talaga, yung mga instrumental, ganito lang kaikli, ah, hindi so. namin pwedeng mahabaan. Okay, I get so, what you're saying, yeah, yeah. Oo, napuputol kasi kami. Kasi nakaan so, yun eh, oo. Oh. Package yung dalaw. Okay, I get, I get, I get the technical difficulty. Mm. I, now I get it better. Thank you for explaining that. Oh, I mean, there were compromises. Kaya sabi ko nga, yeah. uh, ito yung pelikula, Richard, na para kang nagsayang ng isa pang pelikula. I know. Na sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga sa social media, ano ko, Di mag-release ka nung ano, Director Scott. Yun na nga. Mag- yun na nga. Mag- oh, yeah. ako, yeah. Mag-release ka ako. Ng, pero syempre, mahirap na. Hindi na yan papanoorin. Pero ang bala ko, maging content sa YouTube. Yung mga, exactly. yung mga, yeah, exactly. yung mga deleted scenes. Correct, correct. Kasi di ba yung, yung Devil Wears Prada, grabe, millions of views yung mga deleted yeah, scenes nila. Exactly. Kasi, so yun, parang ganun yung balak namin. Minsan nga, mas benta pa nga yung director's cut eh. 
Di ba mas benta ba? Parang namarita si tao. Ano meron doon? Bakit kaya nakat? Di ba? Yung parang mas... mas kaya ano, na. Tao, yeah. Pero pare, kasi hindi ko pwedeng mailagay yung buong pelikula kasi we, we still have yeah, yeah. Ano, right. screenings yeah, all right. over. Tsaka yung screenings namin international. So there are yes. a lot of uh, so maybe uh, mga next producers. Year? Next year yung director Scott? Yeah, maybe. maybe. But maybe. I, I'm, I'm planning to have like a UP, UP screening yes, yes. after after all the international shows right. uh, para magkaroon ng yung three hours na director's cut talaga na sobrang haba na makikita right. mo talaga doon. Right, right. Director, another thing, again, going back to the editing. I mean, I write books also and there are times you write a book like 200,000. Your editor makes it 80,000. Lampas <laughs> sa kalate na wala. Ang sakit, di ba? Like... Yeah. Parang isang taon na wala, but it's part of the business. So I know it's painful for you. The other thing I I, I wanted to also talk about is kaya had pinasok ko yung Dostoevsky and uh, and and Parasite was um there were transitions between your subplots that I think some of them were a little bit more abrupt than the other. And then yung parang I mean I get it. It's like a Thai food, right? You you want to have all taste buds tested. I get it. But there were just mm. some part of parang ang bilis ng transition. And then, mm. spoiler alert, sorry, the most intense parts come a little bit towards the end, no? Na parang, wow, I was not ready for that, di ba? Mm. So, yun lang, parang feeling ko, there was also some transition issues. Kaya I was thinking, mag- baka there is an editing concern also here. And now that you yeah. explain, I also understand more. Because feeling ko, ang ganda ng effort mo na parang collage, eh, a mosaic of many yeah. plots and many stories. Parang, many, yeah. parang multi-character, bubble. multi-character. Bubble, I call diba? it montage. I call it montage. montage. Yes, yes, and, montage. Yeah. Sorry, montage. And you know, um, mas mahirap pala, by the way, to edit a musical. Okay? Yes. Uh, kasi yeah. yung mga, yung mga right. audience natin, syempre, uh, kapag, kapag kasi nag, nag-edit ka ng musical, syempre, yung, yung, yung rhythm, marami dong halata. Halata. Ay, nakat na siya. Patuloy. Nakat siya. Na, halata yung ano, halata yung... Yeah. Uh, Malakas lang. <laughs> natumba yung ano ko, yeah. yung ring light ko. Na, ma- malakas sa emotions natin. Eh. <laughs> natumba to, yeah. yeah I get <laughs> ganito talaga. Uh, Richard, ganito talaga ako, ha. Uh, baka, baka akala mo. I'm always very passionate, you know. And... Uh, A lot of people were telling me. Oh, I like it. This is great. This is why I want to see. Kaya nagkakapit like, na ako. Sabi, Uy, atakin ka sa puso. Baka pastro ka dyan, ha? Hindi, <laughs> pero <laughs> ganun ako talaga. Go ahead, go ahead. Ano, yeah, so ganun, ganun ako talaga. Tsaka kakagaling ko lang ng ano, ng uh, nag, medyo nag-ano ako, nag-tumakbo ako. Kaya sabi ko, ang lakas ng adrenaline. Anyway, uh, yun. Uh, but the, the real purpose, Richard, is for me to capture the attention of the young people first. Kaya yung mga right. una, very light, romantic, ang saya, ganyan. Uh, tapos eh, then you will inject all the, ano, yung uh, pasabog natin. Ayoko mag-spoil eh. Pero yeah, yun yeah. talaga yung yeah. ano eh. Once, pero wala, uh, once eh, gumawa na ako ng ano eh, very detailed... Um review of your movie. So, sorry na lang. Medyo na-spoil ko na doon sa iba. But we had very good reception, uh, director. I think, I think even, uh, not to praise myself or anything like that, but I think after my analysis, many people even appreciated more. Kasi maraming layers eh. There are many yeah. layers to your, your work. There are many characters. Uh, and, and there are like many, um, I would say, like stories na, of course, hindi mo makonsumate in two hours. Pero mapapaisip ka, like, oh nga no, parang you push certain characters to their logical limit, mapapaisip ka talaga. Yes. So, as a writer, mm-hmm. if that's my craft, as someone, you know, into novels and all, I look at it and like, wow, ang daming layers yan. So, I think it's very mm-hmm. important we talk about your craft and we get your point of view. Now, I want to also ask you this because for writers... Okay, I, still have to, I still have to watch that review kasi hindi ko pa napanood by yes, the way. Yes, please, check it. Yeah, yeah. Yun ba yung pinadala mo sa akin? Yes, check mo yan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so ah, okay. one is on Philippine Daily Inquirer column, but that's more like short lang. But I did a mm. much more detailed one, both the aesthetic and political. No, Now let's go All to right. the political part because I think I got your um, pretty, uh, I would say, I mean, you prosecuted your case well in a sense like ito yung mitigating <laughs> circumstances diba? to be jealous about it. But going back to the issue of the politics. Now, you made it very clear that this movie is not partisan. And I think it's really, really not partisan because one of the things I noticed in your movie and also yung katapat mo, the other side of the coin is parang yung one big party in Philippine politics, which is, let's just call them the Yellow Ribbon Movement, were, was very marginal. Uh, in, uh, in, in your, at least the cut that we saw, there's a slight reference to Nino Aquino at some point, nung buo na yung 
arc of uh, transformation ni Nicole, character ni Nicole. Yes. Yung kila ano naman is parang tinroll lang nila towards the end. And of course, I have hmm. my ideas about that. But honestly, if you look at your movie and the movie nila, Daryl, parang na-disappear lal halos yung yellow ribbon. Eh. And, and I don't mean it necessarily in a bad way. I'm just saying. because And in your case, it was really a story of progressive movement in the Philippines, right? Story na mga aktivista. And I think you did a fantastic job of of humanizing them, of humanizing them, showing the taorin sila, nagmamal sila, pag natrider sila, nasaktan sila. So for me, that was very political in itself because you're essentially saying hindi lang ito laban ng dalawang pamilya or dalawang partido, may malaking alternative movement and force that we're also not talking about. Yeah. O oh, si, di ba magkaiba? Magkaiba talaga eh. Kaya nga, yeah. sabi ko, panoorin na muna nung mga, ano eh, nung mga bashers eh. Baka, baka nga, baka nga sabihin pa nila, ay, ganda. <laughs> yeah, talagang wala, di ba? Like, I mean, uh, wala. Wala talaga yung, I mean, there's, sorry, I mean, I'll, I'll spell it out. If you're there to see something pro Lenny or pro Cory, you're not gonna see almost anything. Just a short reference to Ninoy, but that's it. Because it's a historical yeah. event, we cannot deny, right? Mm. So I think that that made it, parang wow, iba to, ah. parang iba talaga to. And 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 I wanna also say, no, in the time of uh, red tagging, in the time of demonization of progressive movement, it did it to NPA, ah, mga ganun. I'm talking about any progressive movement. Major risk yun, na ah, yung ginawa risky, ko, na. Ah. Very risk, mm. very risk. Are you um, I mean, <laughs> bakit? I mean. Hindi ka ba natakot? Hindi ka ba concerned ngayon na yung mga artista mo or ikaw na rectag yung work mo? I mean, how are you looking? I mean, so far naman, in fairness, not as much. Ah. I see the reception Mm-mm. is right. Wala. Mm-mm. They bash you for any, any reason, but it's not red tagging bashing, you know? Oh. It's like, <laughs> oh, wala. nagmaganda wala ka lang, di ba? Ganun bashing oh, oh, oh. ka. Can ano, you tell para, us a lot about kasi, that angle? Yeah. Thankful na rin ako, siguro wala na rin si Lorraine Badoy. <laughs> oh, yung parang hinihintay ko magka-comment pa yan si ano, Lorraine or... Ah, uh, uh, i-intay. Jake Sonda, yung pero, mga yan. Yeah. Oo, pero at least wala na siya. Parang siya kasi yung nauuna eh, di ba? Mag-retag. Pero hindi rin naman kasi this is about 1970s. Hindi naman siya yung ngayon na ano, na, di ba? Well, may, may historical reference naman. So, totoo naman noon talagang ang biggest recruiter ng mar- ng, ng, ng NPA, Marshall o talaga, when yeah, they started, yeah. there were like around 700 NPA in the mountain. When 1982, there were like around 40,000 already. Right, 40,000, so, yeah. Oh, so sabi ko, sabi ko, sige, yung, yung buhay naman nila, kasi hindi naman lahat mga ano, parang ang, ang NPA lang doon si, ano, si, uh, si uh, Kapanyong, di ba, nagsusulat siya for ang bayan. Right. So, tapos yung iba, mga student activists lang naman. So, di naman, parang, ano rin eh, you're right that we're, we're just trying to humanize, humanize the, the, yeah. the progressive movement. And uh, you're, you're also right that um, there, were, there was actually no reference to the Aquinos or even to barely, yung mga Marcoses nga. Yung mga Marcoses nga, baka yung mga BBM uh, supporters nga, baka matuwa pa sila dito eh. And they will say na, oh, kita mo, hindi naman inutos si Marcos. And that's all the You didn't reality. even name Marcos. I mean, Apo yeah. or something like that. Diba? I mean, yung mga reference, yeah. mga, again, spoiler alert. Hindi, yung ang na- narratibo kasi nila ngayon, Uh, hindi naman yan ginusto ni Marcos yung mga ang ang nag-ano niyan yung mga yung mga ano niya yung mga metrocom yung mga right, metropol right. metro mga napolcom yun yeah. yun so mga mga abusado sila oh, yeah, they're not accepted yung mga yan pag kinalaman ni Marcos yan patay sila talaga dati yeah. dun yun nga yung pelikula eh that's their narrative so maybe they will enjoy yeah. this come on manood kayo wag niyo na ako i-bash yeah. lahat na lahat alam mo sinu- <laughs> sinukat na yung buong pagkatao ko Richard Ang Alam mo, enjoyin mo yan. You know what? You can channel this in a good way. I mean, bashing, di ba sabi nung isang, uh, you know, yung Holocaust survivors, sabi na the opposite of love uh, is not hate, it's indifference, right? So you're not getting indifference, you're getting bashed. No, you know, yeah, yeah, I know. And even good. a work of art, even a work of art is relevant if it's uh, if it's subjected to a debate. Also, ano yun? Alam mo, na- naiyak na ako kagabi, pero wala na, okay na ako. Yung anak ko kasi nagbabasa ng Facebook. Kasi sabi ko, ito na magbasa. 
Sabi ko, so, yung, anak, bawal ka lang mag-Facebook. Sa akin, mag-usap kami. Mo, <laughs> alam mo, maganda yung, alam, alam mo, anak, ang titignan mo dyan, engagement sa analytics. Pag tumahas yan, maganda <laughs> yan. Ano Ganun ka simple yan. 11 years old lang yung anak ko, hindi wala pa yung alam sa, ano, Mas, sa engagement. We have to understand na in our era, really, uh, engagement matters because you want your art to leave a mark, <laughs> di ba? Kasi, yeah. natin, okay, let's say we are in a world whereby you just get positive feedback, which is what you used to get as purely theater, right? Mm-mm-mm. But limited niche, eh. niche yung market mo eh. Tama. Siyempre, mm-hmm. when you go big, you cannot please everyone and you're already in a very polarized place, but your engagement level goes hundredfold. So, I don't care if I get 60% uh, negative, I got 40-fold increase. In my positive, if you think that way, you just mathematically approach it. You're a big success. Right? Honestly, that's how I talk, and that's that's how I talk here in in, yeah. in our household. Because uh, even my even yung mga kasaman ko dito, that's how I talk exactly the exactly, way. You, yeah. yeah, the way you explain. It. Pero uh, yun nga sila kasi yung medyo alam mo na vulnerable yeah. pa hindi hindi naman sila sa naisa ganitong ano limelight so. Magbasa yeah. sila ng anti-fragile by Nasim Taleb, yung mga ganun. We have to be anti <laughs> We have to thrive on bashing. We have to thrive on <laughs> disorder and haters. Oh God. At, at, alam mo, Derek, let me tell you from one friend to the other. Ang dami kong bashers and then biglang mag-email sila sa akin or message sila. Alam mo, sir, actually, gusto kita eh, kaso ano lang eh. Ganun, alam mo yung ganun, parang secret Uh-oh. fan pa yung iba. So, yeah, let me yeah. tell you, a lot of these people bash you. Actually, if you respond to them, They'll super appreciate it. Kaya nga, it's very important mm-hmm. you're in, you engage your audience and all and be more active on social media. And thank you so much also for having these podcasts and discussions and all that we're having. Now, going back to this, obviously, uh, tinaiming mo ito sa Made in Malacanang, di ba? Uh, which I think is a marketing strategic, um, you know, uh, uh, coup de grace, right? And coup d'etat in that sense. But... I, What was your understanding of the Made in Malacanang? Like, uh, you, did you see it as something disturbingly disruptive? You saw it as something half disruptive, half entertaining? Did you see it as a creative rival that you have to uh, respond to? How did you conceptualize it? And did you watch it? Ba? Na- mo na? Yes, I watched it. I watched it. Can you tell me a little bit about how you approach the MIM? Yeah, doon sa mga followers at naka unity, Mayan, makinig na kayo. <laughs> I watched it in ano, ito, eh. yeah. parang August 4 yata yung, yung uh, Thursday yung second day parang pinanood ko I bought tickets for, for me and my my um, team on song. yeah on song. Oh, yung yeah. team namin pinanood namin pero hindi ko lang nakasabay si Jerome kasi si Jerome was uh, out of town right. and, and he watched it the following day I guess with Sash na uh, doing the victory sign That's so a bash there, yeah. na bash sila oh, yeah. tapos Sin, umiyak nga sa akin yung bata, may mali ba sa ginawa ko? Oo, oh, oh, sabi ko, may, may mali sa ginawa mo kasi nag, nag ano ka pa. Sabi ko, dapat naging maingat ka. But anyway, uh, I watched it and I, in fact, um, I cannot invalidate it because that, that was the, the experience of the Marcus family 72 hours before they left for Hawaii. Yeah. So that's their personal experience. That's their subjective. subjective. Oo, oh, very subjective yun. So, bala na sila kung yun talaga yung naramdaman nila. I cannot question that. Ang ano ko lang yung bandang dulo lang. Yung bandang dulo. At Medyo tinetroll na talaga. Tinetroll na talaga. That was yeah, oo. Oh, yung parang the way Filipino the people were and actually, and yeah, they were they were pictured as talagang sobrang sama na they, they were yeah. like holding the sulo and yeah, they were mobs. Uh, crazy mobs. mobs. Yeah, yeah, Tapos yeah, talagang yeah. natatakot sila. And it wasn't really that way. I was already 13 years old when um when 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 I we went to we went to EDSA hindi nga lang sa Malacanang but I was right. with my my dad my my uncle and the it was a festive atmosphere actually it it, it wasn't like a revolution even the people who went to Malacanang they were just enjoying that yeah. that moment that the, after 20 years they were able to enter Malacanang Palace remember uh during that time parang may harang yung Malacanang you really cannot ano you may kaya nga yung bar boy. Sorry, diba, uh, tapos... director, I wasn't born then, just to be clear. No, no. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Remember? Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. Eh, kasi so, nag-a-ag- yeah. nag-a-agree ka kasi. I'm a post-ed ano. uh, baby. Na, sige lang, go ahead. Yeah. Hindi, alata naman, alata yeah. naman. At oh. flex lang ako na millennial ako, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Alata yeah, naman, alata naman. Alata <laughs> naman, syempre you're younger. Eh, yun, parang ano lang, parang uh, na ano lang ako doon, tapos parang mm. sinulog yung mga paintings. Walang ganun. Na tapos sa uh, ah, yeah, parang yeah. oo oh, oh, nagsunog sila pagkatapos yung uh, uh, remember 
uh, Rufa and the uh, Cesar was they were dancing and then there were like mobs. Uh, sa likod, yeah. Spoiler back, alert. Yeah, oh, yeah, binabasag yung mga chandelier. Alam mo, may pagka ano mga... yan, fall of the Romanov. Sabi ko, parang, oh, yung, parang may pagka ganun na ro- zar, oh, last parang, zar, may, may last parang zar. Parang ginaya lang doon sa ganun yeah, na, yeah, di ba? Oo, yeah. na, na, oh, oh, parang doon lang ginaya siguro yung, yung artistic aspect. Tapos, yung dulo na Cory Aquino was calling, I guess, uh, Prime Minister Bosworth and uh, yeah. she was telling, uh, is he dying? Ganyan, ganyan. But, uh, remember, uh, there was this uh, memoirs of uh, Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma and she right. said that uh, Cory was very, um, she was affected by the fact that uh, the Marcus family was leaving and uh, they were rejoicing and Cory was not. She was just, uh, she was just very silent uh, as if she was praying. Wait. So yeah. I will definitely I will believe just as Cecilia Munoz Palma yeah. than Darilia. Right. Who's uh, uh, I don't know. I mean okay, I will not go there, but maybe I'll talk yeah, to yeah. you separately. Yeah. The Carmelite the yeah. Carmelite sisters were playing mahjong yeah, and was, um you know yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yon, that was really I thought, I thought, off na yon kasi yeah, na kasi yon. talagang wherever I go Tagaytay, Baguio, Cebu, talagang dinadalo ko yung Carmelite sisters. Yeah, so first, eh. Tapos I'm, I'm still I, I I'm a devotee to Mother Mary and I have I still have the rosary right. given by a Carmelite sister. So, medyo nasaktan lang ako dun sa part na yon. Yun lang. Pero the rest of movie, mga... you also gave a prominent role to the progressive members in the clerical establishment. And honestly, a part of me was saying, sana, bet, bet yan yung origin stories. Bakit itong pare, itong madre ay naging aktivista in their own way and how is how that is in consonance with not only their conscience but their doctrine, right? The, the Catholic mm-hmm. doctrine. I think that was very brave mm. of you. At doon ko nakikita na how different yung take nila Daryl Yap is, diba? Na almost demonizing mm. certain people. While you were showing, actually, there were many progressive who had their skin in the game, who were risking it. Uh, kinoconfront yung police, diba? Et cetera. Yeah, and it was, it was actually our moral moral basis. Uh, they, they, they only not gave us a spiritual guidance, but at the same time, yung, yung moral standard natin parang naka-angkla sa kanila, diba? Dapat. Yeah, yeah. So when 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 I staged this in uh, Saint Scholastica in San Fernando Pampanga and there were like right. a lot of nuns there and I I posted that even in in my in my Facebook yung yung mga madre they were really uh talagang they were crying tapos sabi nila thank you for doing this because we were hurt yeah. by by yeah. what uh, Daryl Yap did to to the to the religious community etc yeah. so sabi ko ayun <laughs> <laughs> so you did justice not only to the victims of martial law, who are, a lot of them who are still among us, and mm. Rosales, of course. Yeah, uh, they live to tell their story. You know? the, um, the, this is not this yeah. is not hearsay, and a lot of them, like yeah. Secretary Judy Tagiwalo, um, uh, Hilda Narciso. Well, a lot of them died of COVID as well, like Sani Mike, who's my number one resource, um, resource person for my 2016 script. So, yun, parang ano, parang uh, we're, we're just trying to humanize these people kasi uh, although we have seen a lot of documentaries no, um, about them, iba pa rin yung nakikita mong pinapahirapan. Eh. These are the, the modes of torture no, na ginawa sa kanila. And we just, we just dramatized it. We, we made it very yeah. cinematic. We yeah. made it spectacular. And here you are being affected by it. Yeah. And, and, and director... Are you looking at sequels? Are you looking at uh, other ways? I mean, sabi mga sa akin, eh, you're, you're quite uh, prolific and uh, medyo may pagka-ADHD ka rin like me. Like, you want to do many things at the same time, right? So I, I'm, I'm already imagining, uh, it looks like financially you were able to recuperate. So I think you'll be in a good position to conceptualize things. Artistically, I think your capital, artistic capital has increased dramatically. So I'm sure many would ha- be happy to support you. Mm-hmm. And I'm also certain you want to remain in this non-partisan objective approach while yeah. being, of course, the artist that you are. Do you have other mm-hmm. projects along similar themes? Because for me, you know, when I was watching the first hour or so of MIM, I said, okay, this is their tech, fine. Diba? But really, the last 50 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, parang, wow, this is a declaration of war. You're declaring essentially an ideological war on the consensus and the narrative we had, on the facts behind the collapse of a brutal dictator. So, mm. ako, as in, I had, to, I, have, I had two reviews in fact of MIM. One was like, yung initial visceral, parang, mm. 
what? <laughs> like, what? Diba? And then the second one was like what I did for you. And then binalikan ko yung saya. So the second one actually was just a position. But honestly, as someone who does history, who does political science, who teaches, who's involved, it for me... Nakakainis, di ba? Kasi parang, parang they, left, yun, eh. yeah. they left like empty-handed. So parang hindi kasama yung, yeah, <laughs> yung mga well, dinala wow. nila. So Never. yun yung mga nakakainis sa part. Uh, pero ako kasi, syempre, I won't just like rely on on the story of Marshall. Kasi ang daming pwedeng ipaglaban eh. Yeah, uh, I am I am now collaborating with Joey Papa, who is also Palanca Awardee, and yeah. uh, he's he's writing a script about about um about global warming, which is oh, something that mas mas mating di pa sa laban kay Marcos. Alam mo yon? Natan lahat so, yun. Oh, 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 parang parang lahat at yun parang may international market din to. Tapos I just finished shooting a film uh, about the um, 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 American war, um, uh, kasi uh, parang yon after I, after I did Katips and the people watch Katips kasi nung November 2021 there were people who approached me tapos sabi ang galing mo ano parang bata mo pa pogi ka pa para pwede yeah. ka pang yeah. ano mag mag magdiretsa ka umarte o ito pera si gagawan mo kami ng ano so okay. I, I I did like uh in um January 2022 I already finished the film and uh, we're now in edit in the editing process oh, congrats and we might director. yeah we might we might submit that for MMF F 2022 so it's about a, a family um family drama kasi siya eh. uh, pero ano 1906 so parang yeah. after the after the Spanish colonization and even even the before the American regime started so, in the provinces yung, so ala, Philippine revolution against American occupation yeah oh, 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 pero, eh. yeah 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 pero hindi very ano lang kasi nga family drama so Ay. parang pinag-usapan lang nila yun parang yun yung next na project ko so hindi naman naka-focus lang sa mga Marcoses but I'm also planning to do uh, about Jabi the massacre in Mindanao So I, I did a play about it. It's it's um it's running in my bar theater. So because I have a bar theater, Richard. Uh, we're we're running. Uh, Please go ahead, fresh, director. Invite people. Yeah, yeah. yeah fresh yeah. new plays every Saturday. So talagang you you can just look for PSF Black Box Theater. So you mga sequel, prequel ng katips. Pwede yung makita jan. Kasi ang daming ang daming ko mga plays ng na na based on the story of Lara eventually and. Uh, Um, of of a Susie, yung yung dugay yeah. na makabayan. There's also a backstory about her. There's a backstory about Art and and uh, and uh, Lali, their love love affair, etc. Right. So, pwede niyo makita yan. And we 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 have lots of ano of, of um Katips fans, no? Uh, visiting the bar. Ang saya. Tapos we were yeah. we're um we're also conducting symposium in the bar. Parang ang saya kasi parang while we're drinking tapos ay usap usap about katips and then they will see uh, some portion of katips being done live on stage. Right, so parang right, yeah, right. so parang medyo nagtagumpay yung bar theater ko after katips. Medyo naging overnight sensation tayo eh. So ang dami ng congratulations. Kaya don't mind the bashers. Now you have a, I mean are you looking at <laughs> ganito na lang okay, maybe I'm being a bit too ambitious about this but Are you looking at the possibility that this will be the opening of a new golden era in Philippine cinema? Because tanggapin natin, we had a golden era decades ago, but let's be honest, for a while major alis labas tayo sa usapan yan. But now I can see, because I think about even with the Korean movies, a lot of their best movies have socially relevant angles, right? Yeah. Whether it's Parasite, the more artsy auteur, or whether yes. it's more uh, mainstream na uh, Squid Game. They're all social uh, commentaries, right? Yes. But done in a very artistic way. So even if you look look at the K, uh, uh, you know, uh, Korean film industry and cinema, social relevance is very important, and I think that's a big part of their draw. So are we looking at, siguro, siguro sa Pilipinas, a new era? I mean, bata ka pa, bata rin si Darrell. I mean, a lot of us are young, are 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 ambitious, are are in a good way. We are in this. I mean, I don't know how you feel about it, but ako since nanalo si Paolo Duterte. I just really see us in an interregnum where a complete transition process. Parang nawala na lahat yung after Marcos, but it's not like Marcos Jr. will bring back also Marcos. So it's like a new hybrid. We're in a hybrid, fluid, fascinating, scary, interesting moment. And I think for an artist, whether you're a director, whether you're a writer, whether this is a very, very um, challenging and exciting time at, at, at the moment. Are you optimistic now? 
lalong ma-inspire a new generation of actors and artists and directors like you to make even more in- exciting stuff. Yeah. Well, Richard, I always believe that the movie is a reflection of life. And uh, me mm-hmm. as an artist, siguro jaded na ako. Well, I transcended from being an artist or an entertainer to becoming an educator. So right. I'm trying to utilize my my art to not only to to entertain but more important than that to educate yeah. parang parang siguro sa akin ganun ano kaya lang yung si ano kasi yung shock value niya yung yung shock shock cinema niya parang i guess it's a short lived uh parang you're you're just here maybe for the fun but uh, eventually people will really kasi di ba ang kasinungalingan hindi naman nagtatagal Talagang lalabas at lalabas kasi yan eh. Yung, yung kasinungalingan eh. So, kapag ka lagi kang sinungaling bilang alagad ng sining, hindi ka magtatagal. Lalabas at lalabas yun ang katotohanan. So, ayun lang. Uh, me as an artist, well, we, we have responsibilities. No? Hindi lang basta talaga tayo payaso dyan uh, na mag-entertain. Um, yeah. Kailangan mas responsable tayo. So, kung, kung ganyan yung sinasabi mo that eventually new era of um, wave. Philippine cinema. A new wave. Oh, oh. A new wave, yeah. At yung syempre, sasakay tayo dyan. But, <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, oh, kasi, di, sasakay pa rin tayo. But I still have to be very responsible and very true to my art. Ayoko, ayoko magsinungaling kasi, Richard, mahirap. Kasi, ano eh, um, um, yung, yung, yung mga kabataan, when you see them na, na naniniwala doon sa fake news, parang hindi kaya ng konsensya ko. Yeah, hindi mo masikmura. Hindi, hindi ko masikmura yeah. talaga. Uh, yun talaga yun. Um, so, money to me is not important. Anyway, this is not my bread and butter. I, I just see this as, you know, as, I'm Pressure very passionate with this, though, but uh, eventually, yeah. uh, ito lang yung pagka board na board ako talaga sa, sa profession ko, ito yung pinupuntahan ko eh. Kaya, yeah. kaya prolific ako kasi boring talaga. <laughs> boring talaga yung legal profession eh. Kaya, yeah. yun, pagka yung gabi na, pag umiinom tayo dyan ng konting brandy, makakasulat na ako. So, mga ganun. Spice ang saya din, ang saya din. Yeah. Oo, ang saya din ng ano, ng ng ng, uh, ng showbiz kasi lalo-lalo na if you get the new artists. Kasi you can see their growth as artists. Yeah, kasi like yung Nicole, mga right? I mean Nicole came out of yeah, uh, oh, her background is different, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Kasi yung mga ano, yung mga yung mga laos na, parang ano eh, <laughs> pagka sila yung kinuha mo, parang meron na silang standard kung ano yung Ito mga to, parang they are like tabula rasa. Parang you are just trying to inject a lot of things to them. Flexible, Tapos, malleable, adaptive, right? Malleable, adaptive. Oo, parang ang, ang ganda. Kaya sabi ko nga, if ever I will do well, yung isa ko na pelikula, yung kakatapos ko lang, yung sinabi ko sa yung about ano, American ano, regime. Yeah, yeah. Maganda yun kasi puro theater din kinuha ko except Mercedes Cabral, who also started in theater. Tapos ang, ang ganda nung, nung relationship namin. So, ganun na lang din siguro ako lagi. Uh, that yeah. is, you know, a, a new kind of of cinema that we are not star-based. We we are not stars. We are actors. We yeah. are here not to not to impress people. We are here to express. Thank you we so much. We are just vessel vessel of a story to be told. So, yun, yun yung ano. That uppermost is a story. Tapos yung, yung mga artista, kung, kung saan yung character na bagay, di ganun, sila yung kukuni natin. Right, right. Thank you so much, director. Actually, parang uh, <laughs> parang gusto ko pa magmarites sa yo. Parang parang masarap to marites natin. But I, I'm sure you have so much more to do. So I really appreciate this time. I, our audience appreciate so much. Marami na congratulate po sa inyo at least dito sa father. Thank you. Marami pong natutulog. To all your audience, we are we are in SM Masinag at uh, six o'clock in the evening later. Um, Masinag, so magkita kita tayo don. There's a uh, okay. Few black screenings there. So, so nandun kami, nandun sila Mon Confiado, nandun sila Nicole Laurel, andun, right. andun kami lahat. Okay. And, and, and uh, baka mga free ticket pa. <laughs> Just kidding. Katulad yeah, na of course. Yeah, yeah. meron. May, sige, magpalaro ka, Richard. Tapos yeah. I'll give you free tickets. By the way, yung free tickets namin kasi, 500 lang, wala kaming million-million na free tickets. Oh, alam Sorry. na, alam naman natin. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, <laughs> even even Mayor Honey Lacuna, we were in in the mayor's office a couple okay. of days ago. She was like, thank you for inviting us. Ganun-ganun. Sabi ko, yes, Mayor, but you need to buy tickets kasi wala po kami. Yeah. It, it's, right. a, it's not actually a free invitation. You need to buy tickets. And they were laughing. So, yeah. yun. Uh, sige, magpalaro ka. Then I'll, I'll send you the, the, the free tickets. Kung ilan yung gusto mo, just, just PM me. 
Yeah, yeah, very limited nga lang. Very limited yeah, nga lang. Yeah, of course. No, for me, this is, uh, I mean, watching that movie is, a, I mean, I'll be honest, the last Filipino movie perhaps I watched in cinema, I, I watch online and all, was General Luna. And I don't know what's your reaction on that, but for me, the movie General Luna was very influential. I think it presaged President Duterte's rise to power. Like, yung glorification, romanticization of the strong man, even yung pagmumura ni General Luna, parang, wait lang, Tatay Digong was not like that in 10-15 years. I mean, let me just suspicious na ako bigla, no? Parang curated That's na. That's true. Yeah, so yeah. parang feeling ko, we have to make more movies, more historical, more grounded, etc. So thank you so much, Director. And thank you, I thank you. And I hope to, mo. well, uh, sana makagawa ka ng, ano, ng very brief lang na review about the, kasi we, we are compiling all the, kasi review mo parang, grabe pa, isang oras yata. <laughs> no, no, no. I have a column on Philippine Daily Inquirer. I send it to you, uh, Director. There are paragraphs there. You can just take out the paragraphs. There's several paragraphs. I compared yours to MIM. I can forward to you again. So don't worry. Don't you you just quote nala my column. I did a proper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pero mas maganda kasi kung video kasi we're 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 planning to. Ah, you need video. To, ah, you yeah, need to worry. have a parang ano commercial ng Saturday. Ah, okay, okay. You send you something like about that. About the reviews, etc. Sige, sige. Maybe I will uh, do along the lines of uh, yung mga sinulat kong ganon. Kasi ako very spontaneous ako, di ba? So. Oh, oh. Sige, I'll send you a short one. Uh, you want one sentence, mga ganun lang, tapos uh, yeah, okay. pinupal That's kasi it. namin. Kasi we have like, we have like, ano, yung mga, ano nila, Ricky Lee, nila yes, Judy yes. and Santos, while well, they watch, no? So, meron kaming ganun, parang, parang Richard, no, nasama ko naman. Now, right after this. Thank you very much. Mukhang andun pa rin yung energy level mo from running, so keep it that up. Thank you. Maraming it, salamat it, it, sa lahat ng listeners mo. Marami po nag-comment ng sobrang ganda dito. So please, uh, keep on going. Hindi lang bashers. May mga konting bashers dito, sila na na-troll. Kawawa yung mga bashers <laughs> pa dito. Sila yung nato-troll ng mga supporters natin. So let me reassure you, uh, Derek, uh, Vincent, no, if you keep on inspiring people, show resolve and strength, people will stand for you. It comes to a point where yung bashers mong kawawa, Right? And, and in my own little world, no, dahil nakita siguro ng supporters natin palaban tayo. Maraming so really salamat. Fight for you. So don't worry, you will have your own army of supporters and you'll have new generation. Maraming kabataan na nanonood po sa inyo, na-inspire po sila. So thank you so much for your service to the country. Continue to be the true artist you are and I hope you take my constructive critiques also in a constructive Oo naman. way. Oh, no. Oo naman. Oh, Oo na. naman. Hindi naman ito, Director. Ano, alam niyo dito. But I'm doing it as a writer. Hindi. Right, right, Oo naman. Uh, salamat, uh, Direct. Talk to you <laughs> Thank soon. Thank you, Richard. Right. Salamat. And to Text all your viewers, then, maraming salamat po. Magandang gabi po. I hapon po sa inyo lahat at patuloy nating panindigan ng katotohanan. Salamat po, Direct uh, Vince Ataniada, Attorney Vince Ataniada. Continue to do your work. God bless. Maraming salamat. I'll, I'll, I'll upload this and send you links to this one. Thank you.